I'm uh, the head uh, of uh, data integration uh, platform at uh, CSI Piemonte. CSI Piemonte is uh, my company. I work uh, in CSI for a long time, more than 20 years, uh, and uh, I manage data and uh, also integration uh, technology to improve uh, the ecosystem uh, of uh, our client. Uh, let's go through what uh, we are doing uh, in these terms. Okay, this is my agenda. We talk about the driver of a digital transformation in my, uh, in my region and in my country. Uh, we talk about the governance of a digital ecosystem that uh, we put in place. We talk about the platform setup and what we are doing in terms of evolution of our ecosystem. Just some words about my company. Uh, CSI is a great, one of the most important uh, ICT company in, uh, in my country. We create digital public services for the public administration. But not only for public administration, but also for the final user. It means citizen and businesses. CSI is a reliable public partner. We work for create a digital and connected country. And today we count 136 public institutions. And we support them for digital transformation. Not only for my country, that is Piedmont region, but also for local public administration. We have a big experience. <laughs> uh, we, are, uh, we have been dealing uh, uh, 47 years with uh, digital uh, uh, governance uh, services, uh, and uh, we work for on, not only for uh, local public administration, but also for a big region like uh, Piemonte. CSI operates uh, uh, for all area of public administration. As you can see, we work for environment, energy, demography, health, territory, e-learning, public transformation also. So all the area we, we can cover and we can digitalize uh, services for, uh, for the final user. Which are the driver of uh, uh, API ecosystem in a public administration domain? Uh, we think that uh, the focus uh, is uh, uh, put in place uh, a modern digital services to support uh, the final user, citizen, business, and also the public administration uh, uh, people that works uh, in, the, in that uh, administration, of course. But also we manage technology. Technology that have to enable uh, interoperability between systems, because interoperability is uh, the main focus uh, that uh, we are working on. Uh, but uh, also we have to take an account uh, to uh, manage this ecosystem in an integrated way. It's very important for us. And um, we do this uh, in order to avoid uh, silos application. Because uh, often in public administration, uh, I mean, in my country, happens that uh, there are a lot of silos application. That is a big issue for the, for the final user, of course. Okay, uh, API could be, in my point of view, uh, it's like uh, a glue between uh, business uh, and technical stuff. These are three definitions uh, of API, all are good. The, the first say that API is a machine-to-machine -machine, uh, digital interface. Uh, can API exchange data and services, of course. Uh, also, the second definition is, again, a technical contract, uh, but uh, can produce uh, 
business because at the end uh, uh, the consumer of API, as uh, we, we can go through in the next slide, uh, means business for the final user. And also API uh, is a way to exchange uh, business information. This information now is uh, into the asset of the public administration. So it's a way to try to uh, share information and create, uh, of course, digital service. So uh, moving on uh, business driver of uh, our ecosystem. Uh, as you can see, we identify four pillars. The first is uh, uh, we have to keep in account the, the velocity in terms of uh, business response. Also, the availability as um, to make API easy accessible for, for the developer. And uh, of course, innovation in terms of create uh, uh, new kind of services. And uh, the last but not least, also the sharing this information. You have to share information because if you have an ecosystem that, that is not used, it's not good for, uh, for, for all. Let's go through on velocity. Uh, if you need a, a rapid business response, uh, you have to address uh, to this topic. Uh, you have to keep in account uh, to um, put in place a system for prototype services. You need it. Because sometimes it happens that you have to uh, do something for the, for the final client uh, in a very fast way. Uh, and also, you have to think to design and support uh, your API development process. But you have to do this uh, trying to uh, fit with your organization. You can't uh, just take uh, API process, uh, classic API process, and use this. No, you have to, to try to understand what happened in your company. And also you have to put in place a, a good software change management. Uh, and this software change management has to uh, have a quick response for the, for the users. In this context, the users are the developer of API or, again, uh, application. In terms of uh, availability, uh, of course, uh, you have to share, as I said before, uh, your uh, IT, your IT asset, not only for your organization, but also for third parts, social networks. Of course, it depends what is third part for you but in the context of public administration are enterprise company and other business, for example. You have to think a user family, uh, uh, people that will use this, uh, uh, this ecosystem. You have to think which are this family and try to, uh, to design in order to uh, try to understand what they need. And uh, in this context, uh, you can also think to segment your users. For example, internal, external user. Uh, it's based, for example, uh, if uh, our partner, external partner, or, for example, uh, segment by uh, geographic position, because also you have to keep in account this information. Innovation, API is the, is the basis for, for innovation. Innovation starts from API. And when you think your API, you have to think uh, uh, the omnichannel development process. If you don't do this, probably your API is not good. It's not good or not is good for just for the, 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 the next phase, but not uh, for the next year. B because sometimes, for example, AI uh, is an approach that needs to uh, improve uh, the channel that uh, you offer to your client. 
Uh, also, external event could uh, be an acceleration, innovation. For example, during the COVID time, uh, my company had uh, to put in place uh, a platform to support uh, uh, all the company that have to share data with uh, central administration. Uh, this was very, very challenging, uh, but at the end, uh, thanks to API manager uh, and uh, design uh, right API, uh, we do a good job. Uh, of course, innovation is not only think to, to business, but also support uh, the developer. And sometimes uh, uh, new technology can help us uh, to produce something uh, good, like, for example, only for prototyping, not for uh, the final, uh, uh, final services. As I said before, the sharing information is very important. Your ecosystem has to be used by people. If you have an API that is unused, it's not good. You have to understand why. And uh, in order to maximize the use of uh, your API, you have to organize, organize them in a the best way, for example, by area, as I said before. And also, you have to think uh, for cross cutting and reusable services. In this context, uh, CSI is designing a, a platform that are useful for some topics. For example, uh, uh, four years ago, we designed a platform for notification, notification uh, to the citizen and the enterprise. Uh, we put in place, of course, uh, a platform API-based. In this way, today we have we count more than uh, 80 uh, uh, integration. So a lot, a lot of uh, uh, revenue also <laughs> related to this uh, this platform. To summarize, uh, these uh, are the the governance uh, requirement that. Uh, we keep in account uh, during uh, our uh, uh, design ecosystem. Uh, of course, uh, reliability, scalability, and availability is a big requirement you have to, to, to apply. We design API portfolio, portfolio organized uh, uh, by scope, by entity. Uh, in the API portfolio, also, we have to keep in account the privacy GDPR. GDPR, these are the rules in, uh, in Europe. And uh, also, we have to address always uh, security access of, uh, of API. And uh, of course, we, we describe this information in API uh, portfolio. Uh, as I said before, you have to support your developer to use this uh, API in a, in a best way. And uh, also, you have to uh, manage interoperability. Interoperability in the, in the local public administration, but also uh, across to different public administration. Uh, all these requirements address uh, also, from a technological point of view, we designed guideline, guideline uh, uh, for designing and development phase. We adopted open API standards as well, and also we put in place uh, four years ago a WSO2 API manager. It's based on a catalog and also a gateway in AI availability. Uh, thanks to this gateway, we can also expose in a secure way API on internet. We can manage uh, audit and dynamic uh, scalability. The last but not least, uh, uh, the ecosystem have also to think running, it's very important running for us, uh, and the evolution of uh, your ecosystem. This is uh, an approach that uh, we follow to uh, feed our uh, ecosystem. 
we are approaching uh, the coupling, uh, the back-end system uh, and front-end, of course, uh, to design uh, a new dedicated layer for uh, defining API for front-end channel. This layer not only expose API by API manager, but also have to address orchestration, transformation, real time, and uh, service composition logic. Uh, the ecosystem is based on outer API, not inner API that is related backend is for uh, other uh, client. This is another view. Uh, is a logical uh, uh, overview of, uh, of our ecosystem, focus uh, on actors. In the middle, uh, you can find, again, uh, WSO2 API manager based on gateway and the API catalog, but the focus are uh, people, the actors. We have a delivery team that publish API in, uh, into the, the ecosystem. Of course, there is a subscriber teams that are, at the end, developers. But we have a governance API team managed by my group that uh, uh, have to understand what the subscriber needs and talk with the delivery team in order to feed our API catalog. Uh, we do this uh, thanks to a guideline. Uh, guideline for, for subscriber, and uh, also uh, we support uh, uh, delivery team to improve uh, their technical uh, API documentation, because it is the, the core of uh, our eco ecosystem. Uh, at the end, also the final client, public administration, uh, can access to this uh, catalog and uh, uh, share uh, what uh, is their asset uh, exposed by API. Some numbers about uh, our ecosystem. Uh, we have 137 API in production with at least one user. Uh, this is the number of uh, our application and also our uh, portal counts 105 users and uh, 100 institution uh, as well. Uh, when we talk about institution, it's not only public, uh, but are also uh, external people, external company or private. Uh, for example, also citizen that access uh, to, to public uh, API, and sometimes they develop uh, app for, uh, for gaming or, or other stuff. Uh, today counts uh, more or less 5 million is uh, for months. This is uh, the architecture, the architecture uh, uh, from logical point of view. Again, we have a three layer, backend layer, consumer layer, and in the middle we have the API backbone. API backbone is based on outer API, as I said before, but also there is a, a WSO2 API manager, uh, such as a gateway in availability, uh, a catalog and uh, uh, identity server in active passive mode. What's next? Uh, we are working very hard to integrate our ecosystem with interoperability framework uh, powered by Italia government. Uh, because uh, my government uh, designed this ecosystem in accordance with the uh, European uh, guideline, European Interoperability Framework, and uh, ask to hold the public administration to talk to each other by standard. But are standards that are not um, so standard. <laughs> uh, so it's not easy for, uh, for us to do this. But uh, thanks to uh, open source uh, WSO2 API manager and thanks to Profesia Partner, we developed uh, a plugin 
that enable our ecosystem to exchange data in, uh, in this way. Uh, this ecosystem is promoted by AGID, is an agency for uh, digital uh, Italy, that uh, is an agency powered by uh, the government, the Italian government, and it consists of PDND, is a national uh, digital platform for exchange data, and um, it's, it's a long process because uh, uh, now European is giving funds to Italy, uh, and Italy gives funds to local administration, and uh, we will do it uh, now and uh, in the next two years to try to digitalize uh, uh, all the, the, the country. Uh, of course, uh, it's good for us uh, because uh, thanks to this approach, we can control in a better way data and also the, the quality of the data and uh, uh, foster uh, designing of uh, very innovative uh, services. So we are grading also our API manager. We will move to 4.1 to 4.3. We are implementing uh, interoperability framework. Uh, in the next uh, two years, we have to move uh, all our uh, legacy <laughs> application uh, to Kubernetes. Uh, and uh, we are trying to do this uh, uh, with a uh, appification process. Uh, and we have also to, to address uh, API management on uh, Kubernetes. Um, this last information uh, is related to uh, uh, data. Because, uh, as I said more than one time, uh, API is also data. Uh, data is the, is the core to, to innovation. And uh, we are approaching uh, to, to create new digital information, new digital experience, as uh, uh, other people say uh, yesterday, uh, because uh, thanks to AI, uh, we can uh, consume API in a new way to give back to the, to the citizen something more than uh, what we are doing. Today we have, uh, okay, web application, app, but the interaction between uh, public administration uh, and um, citizen uh, is not mm, so, so good. So uh, we developed uh, uh, three months ago a first prototype. Uh, this prototype uh, uh, is named Camilla. Camilla is an AI digital uh, assistant that uh, uh, is a subscriber of API <laughs> as well. And thanks to Camilla, of, of course, AI generative uh, with a uh, digital avatar to, to approach with, uh, with, uh, with the citizen, uh, can have more interaction uh, between citizen and public administration in a new way uh, to give a better experience for uh, for the, for the final client. And uh, we are working uh, on this in a uh, very hard, not only for uh, uh, a bot platform, but uh, something more, something more. I think that uh, this is the, the way. Let's conclude my talks.